Welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is a cemento ossifying fibroma, which is a benign fibrosis lesion of the jaws. So the key thing with this is that histology alone isn't sufficient. You must correlate what you're seeing histologically with any radiology or imaging that you have. So if I just zoom out for you, hopefully you can see that there's a well-defined edge to this lesion. If I zoom in, we can see that that edge is formed by little islands of woven bone. And on the imaging, that would correlate to the area of cortication around that well-defined edge. So the actual tumour will show variable um, cellularity. So there might be areas that are very hypercellular and areas which are hypocellular. And also the quality of the mineralization varies throughout the lesion. So if we zoom in, we can see we've got this rich fibroblastic stroma, and within that we've got areas of calcification. These calcifications can vary, so some of them will look a little bit like osteoid, whereas others might look a bit like cementum. So this one here looks a bit like osteoid, it's got um, little osteocytes within it, um, and often you can see little areas of osteoblastic rimming as well. Whereas there are other areas that have this somomatoid or grain of sand appearance and resemble cementum. They're usually more basophilic as well. You might see cystic degeneration in these lesions, but not always. And then towards the centre, you tend to see fusing of these bony trabeculae, forming these kind of um, thick anastomosing um, cords of mineralisation. And this area is a lot more busy in terms of its cellularity as well, I can see lots of cells within the mineralised tissue and more evidence of osteoblastic rimming. So as I say, there are other lesions that can have a similar appearance like cementosis dysplasias and fibrous dysplasia, but um, the well-defined nature of this lesion, I'll just show you again, this nice uh, almost uh, capsule going around the lesion is what you're looking for. This is just a little bit of retraction artefact, ignore that. Um, so you must correlate with your radiology. So this was a benign cementoossifying fibroma of the mandible. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Path Made Easy. And thank you to Pathogenesis for hosting the video.